Hello and welcome to Cloud Tech Talks. This is Pritesh. I'm back with another video. In this video, we're going to talk about cloud optimization and uh, what it means and what are the top five ways to do it. So let's get started. Before we get into uh, what are the top five strategies for cloud optimization, let's understand the definition of cloud optimization first. So by the book, it says cloud optimization is the process of reducing your overall cloud spend by identifying mismanaged resources, eliminating waste, reserving capacity for higher discounts and right sizing of computing devices to scale. Now, in layman terms, this basically means that you have to clean uh, your house uh, in a way where you are optimizing all the storage, you are optimizing uh, all the square foot uh, area that is available to you in the house. And uh, in doing so, you are saving uh, cost as well, right? So uh, uh, let's get into how you can do this if you are managing a cloud environment. Because these days, since most of the people are migrating migrating to the cloud or have already migrated to the cloud, the number one concern for them is to keep the cloud costs down, right? Uh, that's the only way they can sustain themselves for the longer term and stay on the cloud uh, to uh, reap the benefits of being in the cloud as well. So the first one is to find uh, unused or unattached resources. What does this mean? Uh, resources are nothing but uh, kind of computing devices uh, that you have fired up or spun up in the cloud, uh, which uh, you know uh, many IT departments or uh, you know several uh, cloud architects. They what they do is they try to spin it up for a trial to see if it's working. Uh, in the process, they attach a storage component to it, and uh, during this uh, uh, trial phase, after they're done done with the trial, they actually uh, forget to r remove the resource or uh, forget to delete the resource. Hence, the attached storage or attached resources, whatever it is attached to the resource, is basically billed uh, on a monthly basis for uh, as per consumption. Now, this can add to the overall cloud uh, cost that a company is bearing. So, that's the first point that I wanted to talk about. Second point is to identify and consolidate idle resources. Now, this means that uh, there may be uh, several computing devices uh, in a virtual environment which may be running at a capacity of, let's say, only between 1 to 5 percent. Now, this is not ideal. This is not optimal, right? So, uh, in a scenario where uh, uh, an enterprise is built for 100 percent, even for idle resources, this is what needs to change. So, a key cloud optimization strategy would be to bring the idle resources down and consolidate all of these idle resources uh, for consumption and hence making use of them instead of uh, paying for something that you're not using and it's lying idle in your environment. Uh, third, uh, utilizing heat maps. Now, heat map is, is nothing but a visual tool which allows you to see when your uh, you know cloud uh, capacity is peaking or when it's in a valley right so this is uh, the kind of the graph that shows uh, you know what kind of a state uh, you are in in terms of your cloud environment now in in this specific case the information that can be uh, given to you as as part of a heat map is very valuable because it can show you, uh, let's say for a weekend, for a given weekend, do you need to shut down your system or uh, can you uh, can you do with shutting down uh, of your system? Uh, is there lower workload for from your internal resources, etc.? Or does it simply mean that you have to schedule a stop and a start, uh, you know, uh, during a given time? Uh, for before the weekend and after the weekend ends, right? So that's how you can uh, make the best use of utilizing heat maps. Uh, the fourth one that I wanted to talk about is basically investment in uh, reserved instances. Now, reserved instances is nothing but uh, uh, you know paying less but reserving uh, a bulk of capacity in the cloud in simple words right so uh, let's say you are using a aws or a as a, or a azure environment uh, the company gives you an option to uh, uh, reserve uh, specific instances in in bulk and for which you pay for in advance and uh, sometimes the uh, discounts are as high as 70 75% as well for the year which you would normally pay 
uh, uh, you know during the course of a regular instance so that's how uh, you can uh, you can benefit more from a cost side but in order for you to use a reserved instance you need to know which resources are going to be used for sure and what are what are what is the capacity that you're all always going to need so that's how you can benefit from it in the longer term and uh, last but not the least taking advantage of spot instances and the spot instances are a little different from reserved instances they are uh, uh, you know think of it as uh, being made available uh, uh, for an auction right this is typically for large organizations large environments where an auction is uh, is held online and and uh, if the price is right then uh, you know the uh, company is allowed to purchase it at that at that price right so uh, let's say a, a bidder for a for a specific large environment comes in with a with, with a set price and if he wins then he gets that price so it's it's very rare but yet it's uh, it's effective and it's it's one of the ways that large organizations actually do uh, optimize their cost so this is what i wanted to talk about in a nutshell uh, with respect to cloud optimization strategy i hope you understood the what uh, how and why uh, of cloud optimization if you like the video uh, please do share it with your friends and family and also uh, subscribe to my channel for uh, more uh, of such content thank you so much and you have a great day